In light of America's preeminence in the world, securing access to the most influential U.S. policymakers traditionally requires millions of dollars a year. However, due to the unique commitment and financial sacrifice of a select number of Hellenes in the U.S. and the merit of our cause, we have established and maintained access at the highest levels with a fraction of that funding. Fifty years ago, when we faced the tragedy of the invasion of Cyprus, we learned how to properly contribute to, fundraise for, and lobby our policymakers. This led to imposing the Turkish arms embargo and, for the only time in modern history, overriding the White House and the State Department on a major foreign policy issue. In the years that followed, we have maintained decades-long relationships with numerous consequential policymakers and continued to punch far above our weight. For example, only two nationalities have met with the President of the United States at the White House every year, for over 30 years. The Irish, who are one out of nine Americans, and we Hellenes, who are one out of every 250. Other major successes include keeping the Cyprus issue at the forefront of every administration in U.S. Congress, cutting U.S. aid to Turkey from over $1 billion a year to zero, passing a law to force the U.S. to find out what happened to the missing in Cyprus, and clearing the way for Cyprus's early accession to the EU by initiating the effort that switched France and Germany's objection. Further, we Hellenes, led by our Cypriot Americans, who are just one out of every 6,000 Americans, accomplished for Cyprus what few other countries can do. We meet each year with America's top foreign policymakers in the U.S. Senate, U.S. House of Representatives, and in the executive branch. Just weeks ago in Washington, D.C., we held the 39th annual SECA Cyprus Conference. Many of the most influential foreign policymakers in the United States Congress from both parties and from the Biden administration met with Cyprus Foreign Minister Konstantinos Kombos and over 100 Cypriot and Greek American leaders from across the country. This conference commemorated the 50th dark anniversary of the Turkish invasion and occupation of Cyprus and was hosted by SECA and co-hosted by AHEPA, the Federation of Cypriot American Organizations, the Cyprus U.S. Chamber of Commerce, the AHI, HALK, and the Hellenic Bankers Association. On the first night of the conference, a solemn candlelight vigil was held in front of the Capitol honoring the victims of the invasion and the 50-year occupation and division of Cyprus. Speaker Emerita Nancy Pelosi, Hellenic Caucus co-chairs Chris Pappas and Gus Bilarakis, Vice Chair Nicole Maliotakis and Congressman John Sarbanes joined Foreign Minister Kombos, Cyprus Ambassador Evangelos Sava, Greek Ambassador Ekaterini Nasika, and conference participants. In addition, the leader of the United States Senate, Chuck Schumer, and the Democratic leader of the U.S. House of Representatives, Hakeem Jeffries, met prior to the vigil with Cyprus Foreign Minister Kombos and community leaders Dennis Meal, Philip Christopher, Andy Manitos, and Savas Tsivikos to show their solidarity for this commemoration of the dark anniversary. Conference participants met in the White House complex for one hour with President Biden's most senior advisor responsible for the day-to-day -day implementation of U.S. policy towards Cyprus Greece and Turkey. National Security Council Senior Director for European Affairs Michael Carpenter. Carpenter was presented with the Mouyaris Paraskevides Award. Previous recipients of this award have included Joe Biden, Jake Sullivan, Speaker Pelosi, House Foreign Affairs Committee Chairs, and Senator Ted Kennedy, among others. Also representing the Biden administration was U.S. Ambassador to Cyprus Julie Fisher. Participants traveled to Capitol Hill for a welcome reception hosted by Foreign Minister Kombos. It featured a special photo exhibition titled The 50 Years of the Turkish Invasion of Cyprus, 1974 to 2024. This was the first time the photo exhibition has appeared in the United States with the aim of providing photographic evidence of the displacement and actions of the Turkish occupation and division of Cyprus. There we honored the House Foreign Affairs Committee's ranking Democrat, Congressman Gregory Meeks, with the Williams Award. Previous recipients of this award have included Barack Obama, Kamala Harris, and Hakeem Jeffries, among others. Also honored at this reception was the new co-chair of the Congressional Hellenic-Israeli Alliance, Congressman Brad Schneider, with the Friesies Award.
Previous recipients of this award have included Dick Holbrook, National Security Advisor Sandy Berger, Congressional Committee Chairs, and Leader Schumer. At the conference banquet, we honored Senator Paul Sarbanes posthumously and Congressman John Sarbanes for their combined over 50-year fight on the front lines for Cyprus. One of our conference's most prestigious awards was renamed the Sarbanes Freedom Award, and they were the award's first recipients. The chairman of the Senate Foreign Relations Committee, Senator Ben Cardin, introduced the Sarbanes. During these past 50 years, the Greek-American community has spared neither time, effort, or money in its fight for Cyprus. Our community of two million, first in education and second in income, has contributed in immeasurable ways to America. Unfortunately, we have thus far failed to convince the U.S. to bring pressure to bear on Turkey as it continues its illegal occupation of Cyprus. However, our resolve today is as strong as it was the day it began 50 years ago. The work goes on. The cause endures. The hope still lives. And the dream shall never die.